if I'm dependent on others liking me and mm. others being positive towards me, that that puts me in, in a vulnerable state because sometimes people might not be. Yeah. So I'm wondering if you could speak to the balance between self-reliance and then also letting in care as a part of self-compassion. It's a super question. There's a lot of implications, right? So first off, we depend upon air. You know, let's hold our breath for a minute each. Put our head in a bucket for a minute and then fairly quickly you realize how vulnerable we are and how dependent we are. And we're dependent on other forms of physical supplies. Well, as a profoundly social species, we are dependent upon social supplies from other members of our species, particularly those who are close to us, including in intimate relationships or family relationships, deep friendships. We're dependent upon it. And against contra the myth that we should be ruggedly self-reliant, uh, the fact is we're not. We actually are dependent, and it takes courage. It takes a strong sense of autonomy and self-reliance to acknowledge our dependence upon social supplies. Also, I, I want to add, though, as we internalize self-supply, uh, social supplies, and much research shows, and you can see directly in your experience, as you feel you know, more and more cared about and authentically liked, loved, appreciated, and so forth, um, you become more self-reliant. You become more able to keep on going um, when no one's around you because you've got them inside you. The internalization of social supplies helps us be more self-reliant and autonomous and independent. Now, it is certainly true that people can be overly reliant upon social supplies. And the other part of it is that what do you do when the fact is you, there aren't good sources of social supplies in the present or even in your past? What do you do if you're a person, say, who will never have been wholly loved by a nurturing and sane, healthy parent for one reason or another? What do you do? So for me, it, this goes to the other side of it. It's very helpful to be able to self-generate um, inner strengths of various kinds, including feelings of worth uh, on your own, no matter what's happening around you. So my point of view is as a pragmatic, you know, I think hopefully skillfully opportunistic person plucking the low-hanging fruit that's available, I'm looking for any port in the storm. So for some people, uh, the internalization and the reception of healthy social supplies is actually really important for them. And oftentimes people push opportunities for healthy social supplies away who've been disappointed in the past. In other words, that which they most need, they tend to push away because it tends to activate longings for it, which in their history have led rapidly to pain. So there's this expectation that if I let myself really uh, feel, let alone long for, and then act upon that longing in healthy ways, um, social supplies, caring, inclusion, affection, cherishing respect from others, if I let myself long for that or want that or act or even just feel it, really, um, that's a slippery slope to disaster. Mm. That's very normal. So it's quite helpful to be aware of that and then ask yourself if it's currently true.